beauties, it's me. Today I am going to be doing a get ready with me for my 13th birthday party. Um, I am in a different location, as you guys can tell, I'm in my bathroom. And I got my nose pierced, so I'm going to like maneuver my foundation around this. Because I obviously can't take it out because I got it done yesterday. <laughs> so I brought all my makeup in the bathroom, the three palettes I'm going to be using, and all that, my brushes, everything I need, my concealer, all that. So, um, let's just get started. First thing I'm going to do, and since I'm filming this on my camera, I'm not going to be able to do time lapse. Um, so I'm not going to film that much of every section. Um, but the first thing I'm going to take is my Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Refreshing um, Setting Spray. And I like to spray this before I put on my foundation because, I don't know, it just makes it better. I'm going to cover my piercing and spray it on my face. Um, and by the way, if you guys are wondering if the nose piercing hurt, yes it did. Um, hurt pretty bad. Um, it was worse than the shots I had to get when I went to middle school, obviously. Um, the shots didn't hurt that bad. The shots only like were really sore after I got them, but um, yeah, the piercing was way worse, but I do recommend it. The pay was worth it um, because, you know, it's so cute and, um, you know, so there's only one person that would do it in town, um, which was great because a couple months ago my mom tried to take me to this one place and they wouldn't do it because I was 12 then and they only did it when you were um, 14. So, and then this other place we called did it only when you were 16. So, you know. Um, but I'm glad I'm able to get it done. Um, it's pretty hot outside. It's um, like 96 degrees, um, which is great. Um, but yeah, you know, it's nice. I don't want to put on that much foundation because I'm going to be like running around and all that stuff. So I don't want to put on too much foundation. Um, what is really going to be extra burden is my um, eyeshadow. So I'm not really even messy with this area on my nose because I don't want to get makeup in the hole because that wouldn't be very good. But um, yeah, I'm just blending out my foundation. And once again, I'm not going to put very much on. I am going to put concealer on after this. Once again, I'm trying. I'm going to try to not um, touch my nose that much. Um, oh, by the way, this is what the earring looks like that's in my nose. Um, this is an extra one just in case this one falls out, which it shouldn't fall out because. I sleep with a band-aid on it because I sleep like a crazy person, if you guys wanted to know. Um, so I kind of like doing my makeup in the bathroom, except it's really, really hot. But I like it just because like there's a big mirror in front of me. But when I do it in my room, there's also a big mirror in front of me. So um, yeah, I'm pretty concealed on my face now. And yeah, so usually I put on my, my foundation really heavy, which I don't even try to do that. I just end up doing it because like, the foundation just squirts everywhere and then I just end up putting it everywhere. So I end up having a cake face, which I do not want. I just want a little bit of makeup on because, you know, it's my birthday party and I want to look fetch, but I look good without makeup anyway. That's why I don't wear makeup to school ever. So, yeah. Um, so now I'm going to do my, um, my eyes. Alright beauty, so I turned on a little fan so I feel a little better and I don't want to like sweat my makeup all off before I even leave the house. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my eye makeup. So the first thing, I'm using three palettes. I'm using the Aurora Lights palettes, palette, a, this one that I got for my birthday last year, um, a Revolution palette, and then the well-known um, James Charles palette. So I'm going to use the color Skip in the James Charles palette to put in my crease. Um, my dress is black and white and I'm going to wear a gold tiara. Um, here are my nails guys. So I'm going to wear a gold tiara. That's why I got gold in my nails. And my dress is black and white so I wanted to do pink really bright and extra makeup just to like you know make it pop. So I'm going to grab this brush right here, which is actually a new brush I got, and I really like it. I'm going to take the color Skip right here on my brush, and I'm going to, and this, um, this eyeshadow does stain your eye. So if you get your hands on this palette, or if you already have it, then you probably already know that um, the, like, 
pinks and purples and blues, they will stay in your eye, but you know, if you want to get a good um, come out, then you know, you're going to have to risk staying in your um, eyes a little bit. Um, wow, this actually came out way better than it did the other day, surprisingly. I don't either, because I had to like keep on dipping in the skip, and I took it like a lot on the brush, and I don't even have to. And these colors blend really well. I don't know if this ever happens to you guys, but like, you'll be um, you will be doing your makeup, and then your eyes will just start burning, and you're like, well, I have all this makeup on my face. I did too good. I can't take it off. So then you're just sitting there with a burning eye, and you're like, oh, that's nice, you know. Um, but you know, I really like this color. It's really pretty and it blends really, really well. And I don't even have to dip into the color twice, which is amazing. Now, um, I am going to take my Aurora Lights palette. I'm going to put the James Charles palette. Now I am taking my Aurora Lights palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to take the color Luminous. And I am going to put it in the outer corner of my lid. So right here, I love this color. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love rose gold and pink. Like those are my two favorite colors. Rose gold and pink, especially like light pink, I love. So um, yes, guys, I am filming a lot today because I'm vlogging. I'm doing my get ready to clean later, maybe later, or maybe tomorrow, I don't know but most likely later today when I get back to my party I'm going to do a what I have for my birthday video because you guys know I do those every year and I've been doing it for like three years I think so since I turned 11 so like two years I don't know I don't know how to count guys um school's been pretty good I made a new friend which you guys um will see her in my vlog I don't know which video is coming first my vlog most likely is going to come first and then this video and then my what I got for my birthday video but yes, I made a new friend, and um, she's really nice, so she's coming to my party. Um, you guys will see when you watch the vlog. You guys will see who is going to be my vlog, because you guys know how I am. Um, so, the gold is the one, the color I had the most issues with, because I had to, like, I took two gold. I took the 24 carats from this palette, and then I took, I don't know what color it is, but it's in this Revolution palette. I took the gold in here. So I'm going to do that color off camera, and then I will be right back. All right, beauty. So now what I'm going to do is my contour, highlighter, and blush. I'm going to be using this highlighter also to do my highlighter. I'm just going to show you guys one side, and then I'm going to do the other side off camera. So I'm going to take my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Chisel to Perfection and I'm going to take the color Deep Mocha. I'm going to put some of it on the brush that I came with and I'm going to set it on my face and I'm going to blend this out, don't worry. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, where is it? This defining brush right here I'm going to blend it out because I do not like my contour really dark because my face I don't need my face to be skinny. I just like the how contour looks. Um, so I'm just going to blend it out. And I love this brush so, so much. I also got this brush for my birthday last year. And it works really good. So I'm just going to blend it out just like that. Looks pretty good. I'm going to blend it out like this and like that. And that's how I do my contour. Nothing very major. Ma major. Major. And then I'm going to take this tart. And I'm going, ooh. Sorry guys, I'm blinding you, but I'm going to take the blush with this brush. I no longer use that purple brush because it was old and it was separating from itself, so I threw it away. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit of blush on my cheeks, right here. Okay, that is it for the blush, and now the highlighter. So I'm going to use this highlighter in here and this stick highlighter. So what I'm going to do with this highlighter, this is like a liquid gold highlighter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of it, a little bit of it on my finger, not very much. Um, well, kind of, but I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to pat it on my face right here. Well, I would put my highlighter just like this. I'm going to put a little bit more just so it's even. And just like that. 
And now I'm going to blend this out with my finger a little bit, so I'm just going to pat it. I'm not going to rub it or anything. I'm just going to pat it into my skin. And then I'm going to take this little eyeshadow brush, which I use for my highlighter. I'm going to take some powder highlighter, and I'm just going to top it over the <coughs> liquid highlighter because it makes it really glowy, and I'm just going to pat it. Sorry, I had to stop my camera. But now I'm doing the highlighter on the other side, and I'm coming Kaima, I'm sorry. Kind of having a little bit of issues, but I'm going to just put a little bit more because I want it to be as blinded as it was on the other side. I want it to be as even as possible. So now, once again, I'm going to take powder highlight. And all I did on this side was I just patted it into the skin so it wasn't really like, oh my gosh, like I can't see when I look at you. But like that's kind of what you want, you know? But I'm just taking like this. And then I am just going to take some more liquid highlighter and just put it on my nose right there. I don't want it to be really. And then I'm going to take this fan brush and I'm just going to, actually I'm going to take another finger and I'm just going to pat it in because I don't want the highlighter on my nose to be really blinding. I'm just going to pat some more liquid highlighter down the middle and just blend it out like this and take up my brush and just like rub it in a little bit just so it's set and now I have a really glittery face um so this is basically it I'm going to put on some gold lip gloss but I will show you guys the finished finished product once I have my outfit on and all that once I put on the lip gloss because I don't want to put on the lip gloss until we are about to leave all right beauty so this is my finished look I'm looking in the mirror over here and I love it so so much um you guys will get to see everything in my vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like I always say, please like, comment, share with your friends, follow me on all my social medias. Go to my last main video. I believe it was my birthday vlog. And also, if you guys want to click that big red subscribe button down below, make sure you click that. Watch click that a bell pop up. Make sure you click that bell. You know, notification from my channel every time I upload a video. I upload this for regular as I can. I will see all of you. Be tuned for my next video. Keep following and stay beautiful. Bye, switches. Mwah.